that's just stupid right there. What's up, my peeps? Today I'm going to show you how to download and play Nintendo Emulator and Nestopia. You need to go to Emulator Zone down here to the bottom and just click the download link. Alright, so once you have it downloaded, go to wherever you saved it, your file. And we put it on the desktop here. Just extract it whichever way you can. So it's here. Then we're going to open this. Look for this one with the exe, your execute file. Just double click that. Alright, let's make it big where we can see what we're doing. Now that you got it opened up, go to options, you can go to video. You can change your screen setting here to make it bigger. This is where you can have like standard is just like the way it was on NES, like your blocks and everything, your 8-bit. You can go to this XBR if you want kind of rounded edges. I like the standard. I, I don't change that. I like to think it's better. Just leave the other settings alone. Hit OK. Let's put in this, our input for your controller. I am using a Xbox controller today. This is, well, it goes with the green screen, so you can't see it. But the box is green. It's like a lime green. No, it's like Xbox. This is what I use to sync mine to the computer. It picks it up automatically. You don't have to do anything. If it doesn't say it here, if you have this, then you probably opened the emulator before you connected your controller. So you need to make sure your controller is connected to the PC before you open the emulator. Just close it out and start it again if you did. Sometimes I'll be playing with this data frog. It's just it's a wired one, USB. It picks it up as well. It's just whichever way you want, whatever you have. Okay, so we're gonna set the mapping up on the controller. If you look over here at your keys, you can see what you would need to go to if these are different. And like your select start be A. So on mapping, I'm just gonna hit set all. Go left, up, right, down, select, start. And on Xbox, your A and B is going to be backwards. So I just use A for B, just like a NES controller would be. And that's all there is to that. Just hit OK. Hit OK. Okay, so to get a game going, just go to File, go to Open, and then you will pick a game. As if you have the games already in NES, like Extracted, that's fine. It picks them up. It also picks up the zips. That way you don't have to unzip each one that you want to play. And you just click open. Just to show that it kind of works, we will just hit start. Just to play a little bit. Just to kind of... I also recommend you setting up the D-pad as your move, not the analogs. backwards from Xbox. I'm so used to playing that now. But, as you can see, everything's working. Okay, so, how I was talking about earlier, if you want, like, standard is like the block, like the 8-bit type where there's blocks. The other option would be to change this to, like, like this. And you can see how everything is kind of smooth. It's, instead of, it's not blocky anymore. I just kind of like the block, I guess, the old school feel. That's just what I go with. I don't like this as much. But some people, it may be more, more pleasing for them. So let's close that out. Let's change the video back before I forget to put it back to standard. Okay, so that's how to set up your emulator. I'm going to start playing through the NES games. Starting at the top of this list from the Wikipedia page. And I'm just going to play through each one just a little bit. I'm not going to try to beat everyone or anything like that. Just play through, have some fun. That's what I'm going to do on this channel. I'm also going to play other games. And that's what I've made this channel for is I'm not going to have any kind of rules. I'm just going to do what I want, have fun, drink some. Maybe you can follow along and have some fun too or get some laughs. I'm sure there will be plenty of stupid stuff that goes on. Till the next one, relax, have fun, drink some beers.